Hey friends, I'm Rosalie, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We are gonna have a lot of fun and hear a super fun story about Moses and his family. But first, we are gonna worship. Worship is such a fun time, and we get to tell God how much we love Him. Are you ready? Let's go. I wanna sing, I wanna shout, I wanna tell everybody what I know about. I gotta light, I gotta shine, it makes me dance and spin around. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, I cannot keep it to myself. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, I cannot keep it to myself. So I throw my hands up. Girls can praise him, everyone praise Jesus. I can praise him, you can praise him, one can praise him, two can praise him, boys can praise him, girls can praise him, everyone praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus. I can praise, you can praise, we can praise Jesus. Everyone praise Jesus. Everyone praise Jesus.
is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. I'll need the blue one and the brown one and the... Oh, hi. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Zoe. Today I'm making royal leaves for my thankful tree. I thought that today I could draw pictures of things I'm thankful for. Well, not things. People. I'm going to draw all the people in my family that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my grandma. She makes the best cookies. Sweetie, I got some fresh chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven for you. She likes to wear this beautiful blue dress, so I'll use the blue marker to draw her. I'm thankful for my dad. He plays basketball with me almost every day. All right, Zoe, just how we practice. Get the ball and the hoop. Watch me. Basketballs are orange, so I use the orange marker for this picture. I'm thankful for my mom. She reads to me almost every night. And so our story ends. The end. Wow, I have so many people to be thankful for. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Drawing on more leaves today, are you? I sure am, Ollie. Today I'm drawing all the people in my family I'm thankful for. Family is special. It's true. I have a story about some brothers for you. Listen closely. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. See what I'm working on? My sister asked me to make something special to decorate our dinner table. She's going to fill this box with pumpkins and it's going to sit on the table right in the middle of our family. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. All right, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about a man who was very thankful God gave him a brother because when he needed it most, his brother was there to help. This man's name was Moses, and his brother's name was Aaron. Now, they were a part of God's army. One day, some mean people came to attack the Israelites. Everybody say, oh no, oh no. But Moses knew that God would help them, so Moses held up God's staff. Okay, pretend to be like Moses and hold your arms up. Huh? Okay, great. So Moses held up God's staff and the Israelites started winning. Everyone say, hooray! Hooray! <laughs> but uh-oh, look, Moses' arms are getting tired. Are your arms getting tired? Oh, oh, when Moses put his arms down, now put your arms down, God's army started losing. Everybody say, oh no, oh no. But when Moses held his arms up, arms up, the Israelites were winning. Everyone say, hooray, hooray. You can put your arms down now. But Moses couldn't put his arms down. 
Moses had to hold his arms up for a really long time. They start to get so tired. He needed help, so his brother Aaron and his friend Hur came to help. They brought a rock over for Moses to sit on, and then they held up his arms so that God's staff would not come down. And look, God's army won. Everyone say, hooray, hooray. <laughs> I'm sure Moses was very thankful God gave him family like Aaron and his friend Hur to help him. God gives us family to help us too, like our grandmas and our grandpas, our aunties, our uncles, our brothers and sisters too. God is good. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. It's all true. God gave Moses family to help him. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was such a fun story. God gave Moses a brother and a friend to help him hold his arms up. God is good. The story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Moses' brother helps him. I have lots of people in my family who help me. I need to draw more leaves. I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Are you ready for our memory verse? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107. One. Great job, friends. Now let's do it really slow. Ready? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. One hundred seven one. That was so fun. Now let's do it super loud. Ready? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm one hundred seven one. Good job, friends. Wow, that was so fun to do the memory verse in a loud voice. And what an amazing story about Moses and his brother Aaron. Moses was so thankful to have his family help him. We have family who can help us too. This week, we can say thank you to God for our family. Did Big Brother help you tie your shoes? Thank you, God. Did your parent read you a book? Thank you, God. Did Grandma give you a bandage? Thank you, God. Don't forget to go to missionventura.com kids where there's a fun craft, an activity, and some discussion questions to keep the conversation going. We'll see you next time. Bye.